Right. Assalamualaikum and very good day. Right. So I'm gonna help you guys to answer question number three A. So I heard that some of you are having problem on developing the circuit for I mean like uh JK free tops uh to build it as a counter. Right. So what I did is that I just want to show you guys step by step how you can work on this exercise. Right. So first, what I did is that I searched for JK flip flop, right? So I searched for very lock JK flip flop, and then I found this code. Okay, so I'm gonna use this code as a base for my uh, project. Uh, so I then I open uh, the quarters two. Right, so I create a file. So dot b and then i name it as jkff so as you can see here i mean there's some changes that i did to this code so instead of having right q here i put it inside here because quarters mean cannot accept uh, this way of programming so we have to do it uh, this way so then i've completed a jk flip flop uh, module right so but then uh we have to develop counter up right so then i google uh counter up uh very long then i found it here binary four bit synchronous up counter so this is the secretary then i found out that they are using four jk flip-flops one two three four and then here there are two end gates all right so to work on this circuit then i have to create a new file which is I name is I name it as counter up right so counter up and then I need to have here input J K and then uh, one output Q A Q B two Q three C and then Q D four and then there's another input here clock all right so all of uh, the flip flop need to be connected to a clock. So as you can see me, I have J, K input, clock input, and I have four outputs, Q1, Q2, Q3, and Q4. Right, so, and then in this case, I need to have a wire to connect between the flip-flops. So in this case, I need to use wire. So I'm using two wires here, J, K, 3, and uh, J, K, 4. All right, so let's start uh, one by one. Right, so in this case, we are having four flip flops JKFF1, JKFF2, JKFF3, and also JKFF4. So, uh, if you can see here, we are using, uh, we are calling the same modules, which is JKFF, which we already developed in a separate, uh, very log file. All right, so here, uh, okay, let's go and check on the diagram. And so we are developing the first flip flop here, which is the uh, FFA here. And then we can see the input to the JK, the first JK flip flop is uh, logic one, which is uh, the value that we're going to set in the simulation. And then the output of flip, JK flip flop one will go into the input for JK flip flop two. And this is how the connection will be done. Right. So first we have to write the name of the module, which is in this case is JKFF. And then we can give whatever name that we want for the first JK flip flop. So in this case, I'm giving JKFF1. Right, so and then here is the input following the order that you set here. So let's say, I mean, like you swap, I mean, you start with Q first, then you have to start in this counter up file with Q2, Q first, right? So in my case here, I'm starting with J, then followed by K clock and also Q. So as you can see, dot J dot k dot clock and also dot two these are all referring to the module right and then the inside the bracket is the the connection that you have within the module so in this case j i'm using j here k and then here k from the input here and then clock so from the input and then q1 from the output right so i'm done with the first flip flop and then let's go and check the second flip flop so the input for the second flip flop is the output from the first flip flop, and then uh, the output will goes into then gate. Alright, so let's see here. And then uh, here the input will be uh, the output from first flip flop, which is a Q one, 
So Q1 goes to J, Q1 goes to K. I mean same connected and uh, the clock is connected to the same clock source and then the output being connected to Q2. Alright, so as we can see here, I mean okay, wait, uh, let's go and check on the third free flop. So the input for the third free flop will be coming from the result of N uh, from output from flip flop one and output from sorry output from flip flop one and output from flip flop two. Okay, so what we need to do is that we create uh, the end gate and then here is the output from flip flop one and here is the output from flip flop two and then the output we name it as JK3. Then the output from the end gate will be going as input to flip flop number three. So that's what I can see here. The input for J for flip flop three is JK3. And then the input for K in flip flop three is JK3. Clock is the same, and then the output is Q3. And then look at the Q uh, flip flop number four. So the input is the result of N from the output of the first N, and also the output from flip flop number three. So we just do here uh, the output from flip flop uh, first N gate. And then the output from flip flop three, you end it, then we get gp four, and it becomes the input for flip flop number four here, and then the output is q four, right? So we are done on uh, connection, and then uh, basically uh, to make it, I mean, to understand it better, right? So the module first, the module that we specify, which is the JKFF, I mean here is the the module so this is your module dk ff you can reuse it many times right so the input is k and k and also you have clock clock right and then you have output as the q so, so to make the connection right so you need to have a base so this base is known as top level module which where you need to set it here right so here our top level module will be the counter up so you just go to counter up one step here go to counter up right click and then set as top level entity all right so and then this is how the, the connection being done so the final step is to run the simulation so in my case on uh, created the .bwf file. So the first input is clock, right? I mean, in this case, I've already set the input clock. But if you want to set it, we just right click here. I mean, at the I mean, uh, on the clock part here. So just right click, select entire waveform, then right click again, and then go to value, and then uh, choose override clock. So in this case, I'm using 15 in a second period, then just click OK. And then uh, for the J and K input, select one, and then force it to one. That's the soon goes to K2. And you're done, and then you just run the simulation. So after you run the simulation, then you can see I mean, the counter is being activated following the clock. So in the example, the first clock, then the output will become 0, 0, 0, 1. And the second clock will become 0, 0, 1, 0. And then third clock will become 0, 0, 1, 1. All right, up until uh zero one 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 right so this is uh the example of four bit counter up by using uh jk flip flop right so i hope you guys can um, benefit from this sharing and hopefully you can complete all the exercise in that too